Hello friends in this tutorial we are going to discuss history of C# -sharp programming language as C# -sharp is evolved by referring C and C++ programming languages we briefly discuss about history of C and C++ programming languages if you want to know detailed history of C and C++ i suggest you people to watch history of c programming language video and history of c++ programming language video available in c programming language video tutorial series and c++ programming language video tutorial series available in my youtube channel so let's get started here before c programming language design unix operating system was implemented in assembly level language codes to reimplement unix operating system Mr Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Bell Laboratories around the year 1972 designed a structured or procedure oriented programming language known as C programming language as we know that procedure oriented programming languages concentrate on how to solve problems they emphasize mainly on how to solve problems they do not concentrate on data they do not emphasize on data how to represent data how to manage data how to reuse data they do not concentrate on how to give different level of access to the data there is no security to the data in procedure oriented programming language like c programming language hence procedure oriented programming language that is c programming language was not suitable to represent and solve most of the real world problems influenced to cpp cpp means c++ to represent real world entities and solve real world problems efficiently mr bijarney strostrup at at&t bell labs around the year 1978 designed an object oriented programming language known as c++ programming language First Mr Bijarney Strostrup released a document with the name C with classes you can think like previous name of C++ programming language is C with classes C++ is actually a C programming language plus object oriented concepts added to it like classes objects abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding message passing various oops concepts are added to the c programming language and released c with classes that is c++ as cpp is a increment of c programming language we write c then we write two plus plus signs two plus plus signs in programming language indicates incrementation or increment by 1 as cpp is a increment of a c programming language we write c then we write plus plus you can think like increment of c you can read it as increment of c simple hope you guys have understood why plus plus but there are some limitations we have with respect to c plus plus that is c plus plus programming language codes are binary platform dependent that means If you compile a C++ program on one platform compiler is going to generate an executable file that is known as binary file the same executable file you cannot execute on another platform if you want to execute the C++ program on another platform then you have to recompile the C++ program on another platform the compiler will generate an executable file for that platform you can execute that executable file on that platform hence c++ programming language is actually platform dependent with respect to binary c++ programming language is source platform independent but c++ programming language is binary platform dependent without recompiling you cannot execute an executable file or exe file on different platforms c++ has explicit pointers which are threat for higher level applications whereas pointers are very powerful and useful with respect to low level applications like writing drivers writing system programs creating applications for embedded systems they are very very good but with respect to higher level applications like enterprise applications pointers are not good they are threat to security c++ has no garbage collection 
That means if a programmer creates some memory locations dynamically, if the memory locations are no longer used, then it is programmer's responsibility to free those memory locations. If the programmer do not free those memory locations, they will be always reserved and they will never be used for another applications. So it is programmer's responsibility to collect the memory locations which are treated as garbage. Hence, C++ is not memory managed programming language. Everything is not part of an object in C++. We can write free floated functionalities outside the class. If we want, we can create global variables, global uh, constants. At present, you remember that C++ is a platform dependent with respect to binaries. It has explicit pointers which are not good for higher level applications. It has no garbage collection. That means it is not memory managed language. Everything is not part of an object. Hence, C++ is not purely object oriented programming language. C++ is influenced to C sharp. We talk about that now. To create platform independent, to create a C like object oriented language for CLR environment or .NET framework, a team of members led by Mr. Andrew Hazelsberg at Microsoft around the year 2000 designed object oriented programming language known as C sharp programming language. Previous name of C sharp programming language was cool. Cool stands for C like object oriented programming language or you can say C++ like object oriented programming language. C sharp is as I told evolved from C and C++. C sharp you can think like it is an increment of C++. So we write C++ then again plus plus. So increment as I told plus plus indicates increment of. So increment of C++ is C sharp. Instead of writing C++++, they used a musical note sharp. If you observe carefully the sharp musical note, you can see there four plus symbols plus 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 plus. You can say like C sharp is a double increment of C programming language or you can say increment of C++. Hope you guys have understood why sharp symbol. Sharp indicates the high tone also in musical note. Later C sharp influenced to Dart and Swift programming languages. C sharp is a pure object oriented programming language. There everything is a part of an object. We cannot create free floating functions. We cannot create global variables in C sharp. C sharp is a memory managed programming language. That means programmer need not to worry about freeing the garbage memory locations. Also C sharp has no pointers in safe mode whereas still in unsafe mode we can use pointers. C sharp is a platform independent programming language. CLR environment or .NET framework has various compilers. CLR stands for common language runtime, common language runtime environment. So CLR has facility to execute more than one programming language codes. So it has compiler for C sharp, C++, VB or Visual Basic you can say J sharp, F sharp, PHP, ASP, .NET. It has compilers for various programming language. Hence the name is common language runtime. This environment is a .NET framework environment. This .NET environment if you installed on different platforms to execute the C sharp codes you need not to recompile. You can directly execute the C sharp codes on different platforms without recompiling. Hence C sharp programming language is a platform independent language. Hope you guys have understood history of C sharp to create a language for common language runtime environment for a .NET framework. Mr. Andrew Hazelsberg team has designed a C like object oriented programming language known as C sharp. Let's discuss little bit more history about C sharp with respect to its versions. C sharp is approved as standard by ECMA and ISO around the year 2006. ECMA stands for European Computer Manufacturers Association and ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. These two organization has approved C sharp as a standard in 2006. In 2002, C sharp 1.0 has released 
in 2005 c sharp 2.0 got released in 2007 c sharp 3.0 got released in 2010 c sharp 4.0 released in 2012 c sharp 5.0 released in 2015 c sharp 6.0 got released c sharp 7.0 is coming soon C# Sharp 1.0 has .NET Framework 1.0, C# Sharp 2.0 has .NET Framework 2.0, C# Sharp 3.0 has .NET Framework 3.0, C# Sharp 4.0 has .NET Framework 4.0, C# Sharp 5.0 has .NET Framework 4.5, C# Sharp 6.0 has .NET Framework 4.6. and every new release they released a new ide also so in 2002 they released visual studio 2002 ide ide stands for integrated development environment using which you can write codes you can compile code execute codes you can test codes you can develop applications okay hope you guys have understood what is ide means In 2005 they released Visual Studio 2005 IDE in 2007 they released Visual Studio 2008 IDE Visual Studio 2010 is released in 2010 Visual Studio 2012 is released in Visual uh, 2012 and in 2015 Visual Studio 2015 IDE got released which is the latest one and when they released .net framework 1.0 it was having basic uh, features of a c sharp programming language later step by step they added new features like in .net 2.0 they added generics events and delegates nullable types enhanced iterators static classes in .net uh, framework 3.0 they added lambda expressions partial classes partial methods anonymous types etc in dotnet framework 4.0 they added late binding named and optional arguments etc in dotnet framework 4.5 they added asynchronous methods info attributes etc in dotnet framework 4.6 they added exception filters enhanced catch and finally blocks dictionary initializers etc so they are adding new new features to the dotnet framework and releasing new new versions of the dotnet framework to make programmers life easier so this is all about history of c sharp programming language for this tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits please subscribe and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited friends keep learning keep coding keep sharing see you in the next tutorial thank you guys thank you very much